another 31-LET student. Uh, we are team ENCODE from the Digital System Design course. We are implementing uh, Morse code light translator. Uh, our project takes as an input uh, Morse code light flashes uh, and as an, as an output it transfers this uh, light flashes into uh, its trans uh, English translation uh, and displays it on the LCD mode. Um, hello, my name is Mark. I will talk to you about the sensor we used. Um, we are using an LDR light sensor uh, which has a code LM393. Um, as, you, as you can see it has four pins, two inputs and two outputs. The inputs are the VCC and the ground. And the outputs are uh, one analog output and one digital output. Um, we are connecting the VCC to, uh, to the input pin 29 in the FPGA because uh, it's the 3.3 volt uh, input. Uh, and the ground uh, connected to pin 30. And we are connecting the digital output to pin 33 uh, using jumpers, as you can see. The sensor is active low, uh, meaning that when the sensor is uh, detecting light, uh, it outputs zero and uh, it outputs one otherwise. My name is Harald and I'll be explaining the durations module and the translator module for the LCD uh, display. Uh, we are used uh, in the uh, first. We're going to be. I'm going to be talking about the uh, durations module. It takes as an input uh, the clock and the reset and the light taken as an input from the sensor. Uh, it takes it as a binary bit, it's like a 1 and a 0, uh, and uh, it outputs a beep. The beep is calculated by uh, if conditions, and the, uh, the beep determines if it's a dot, uh, the output is a dot or a dash, or a gap. And uh, then the output is taken to the translator module, and the translator module basically works uh, like a state machine. Uh, so it starts uh, the first input as a dot or a dash, and the dot represents a, a, diff a state, and the dash represents another state. The dot, for example, represents state E. State E, uh, as uh, E is represented in Morse code as only one dot. When you receive another dot, it's like it goes to another state, and when you receive another dot, it goes to a different state. And that's how uh, the translator module works. Uh, it works as uh, you keep changing states which uh, using the beeps. Uh, the dots and dashes, which are taken from the trans uh, from the durations module, and that outputs a letter, and uh, then the letter is used in the LCD display. LCD uses three modules: the reset, display, and controller. The controller allows the LCD to refresh its contents. Uh, we give the letters um, the letters to the LCD, which we obtained from the translator module, uh, letter by letter. Um, however, before that, we uh, <coughs> we convert each letter to its ASCII format since the LCD can only uh, display letters and uh, characters in the ASCII format. Uh, if we uh, send an array of characters each time to, to the LCD display module to display the contents of each uh, array. My name is Ahmed Mandour. Uh, I'd like to point out some of the difficulties we had during the implementation of the code. Uh, first of all, the letters did not appear on the LCD as we try to make it appear because every single time an empty letter appeared on the LCD uh, we tried to figure out why so we went into the translation module which generates actually the letters we found out that this module instead of showing the letter it shows an empty letter however the problem was uh, initially we have no input uh, when you turn on the FPGA initially you have a zero input that's why you must have an empty letter at first However, we couldn't trace why the empty letters continued to appear, so we decided to switch the input and the output. Instead of showing letters and, and numbers, we decided to show only numbers on the seven series. Segment code, we changed the translator module. Uh, we used the fact that in Morse code, uh, every number consists of five elements, like dash, dash, dot, dash, or three dots and two dashes, uh, which made this much easier for us to translate the Morse code uh, uh, to translate the, the, the Morse code from letters to, to only numbers. However, we were not able to represent all of the numbers. 